Joe Burrow. Joseph Lee Burrow, born December 10, 1996, is an American football quarterback for the Cincinnati Bengals of the National Football League NFL. Following a stint with Ohio State, Burrow played college football at LSU, where he won the Heisman Trophy and the 2020 College Football Playoff National Championship as a senior. He was selected by the Bengals first overall in the 2020 NFL Draft. After an injury-shortened rookie season, Burrow rebounded in his second year by leading the Bengals to their first playoff win since 1990, ending the longest active drought in the four major North American sports en route to an appearance in Super Bowl LVI, the team's first Super Bowl since 1988. He holds the Bengals franchise records for passer rating, completion percentage, and single-game passing yards and is tied with Boomer Esiason for the most playoff wins. Early Years Joseph Lee Burrow was born in Ames, Iowa, on December 10, 1996, the son of Robin and Jim Burrow. Jim is a former football player and coach whose career lasted over 40 years. Burrow was born in Ames when his father was on the staff for the Iowa State Cyclones. According to a 2019 Sports Illustrated story, the Borough athletic lineage dates back nearly a century. In the 1940s, his paternal grandmother set a Mississippi State High School record with an 82-point game in basketball. His paternal grandfather played basketball at Mississippi State. His uncle, John Burrow, played football at Ole Miss and two older brothers also played football at Nebraska. He attended the 2002 Rose Bowl at age five, as his father was an assistant coach for Nebraska. Not long after, he began playing in youth football leagues. Unlike his father, uncle, and brothers who all played on defense, Burrow started out as a quarterback because his first youth team had no one else who could play the position. The Burrow family moved to Fargo, North Dakota, in 2003 when his father was hired as the defensive coordinator for the North Dakota State Bison. One day, while Jim was visiting his office, future Central Michigan head coach Dan Inos commented that the seven-year-old Joe had a future in football. The Burroughs spent two years in Fargo before Jim accepted the defensive coordinator position at Ohio University in Athens, Ohio. Burrow attended Athens High School 2011-14 in the Plains, Ohio, leading the school to three straight playoff appearances and the school's first seven playoff victories in school history. During his career, he passed for 11,416 yards with 157 passing touchdowns and rushed for 2067 yards with 27 rushing touchdowns. He was awarded the state's Mr. Football Award and Gatorade Player of the Year Award as a senior in 2014. He and his Bulldog teammates went 14-1 that season. He was also a standout basketball player and was named first-team All-State at point guard his senior year. Burrow was rated as a four-star football recruit and was the eighth-highest-ranked dual-threat quarterback in the class of 2015, according to the 247 Sports Composite. He committed to Ohio State to play football on May 27, 2014. In December 2019, the Athens City School District School Board unanimously approved a measure to rename the school's football stadium in honor of Burrow. College Career Ohio State after redshirting his first year at Ohio State in 2015, Burrow spent the next two years as a backup to J.T. Barrett. Over the two years, he played in 10 games, completing 29 of 39 passes for 287 yards and two touchdowns. Realizing that Dwayne Haskins would be named starting quarterback at Ohio State, Burrow transferred to Louisiana State University, LSU, on May 20, 2018. Burrow had graduated from Ohio State in three years with a degree in consumer and family financial services and would be immediately eligible as a graduate transfer. Unless you, unless you, who, 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 you, who, 2018. In his first year, 
At LSU, Burrow was named the starting quarterback as a redshirt junior in 2018 in an early season road trip to then no. 7 Auburn Burrow threw for 249 yards and a touchdown en route to a 22-21 win. He was named SEC Offensive Player of the Week following the victory. He again earned a CC Offensive Player of the Week honors following. Burrow helped lead the Tigers to a 10-3 record, including a win over UCF in the Fiesta Bowl and a no. 6 ranking in the final AP poll. Burrow finished the season with 28-94 yards passing, 16 touchdowns and 5 interceptions. He added 399 rushing yards and 7 rushing touchdowns. 2019 Burrow was again named LSU starting quarterback heading into his redshirt senior season in 2019. In the Tigers' season opener against Georgia Southern, Burrow threw for 278 yards and five touchdowns in a 55-3 win, and was later named SEC Co-Offensive Player of the Week with Tua Tagovailoa. In a Week 2 road trip to ninth-ranked Texas, Burrow threw for 471 yards, four touchdowns, and an interception in the 45-38 win. His 471 yards were the second most in school history and the most since Rohan Davies' 528 against Alabama in 2001. He was named Walter Camp National Offensive Player of the Week and SEC Offensive Player of the Week following the performance. Burrow earned his third SEC Offensive Player of the Week honors on September 21 during LSU game against Vanderbilt. He threw for 398 yards and a school record setting six passing touchdowns in the Tigers' 66-38 win. He became the first LSU quarterback to throw for over 350 yards in three consecutive games. In a 42-6 win over Utah State, Burrow threw for 344 yards and five touchdowns and became the first Tiger quarterback to throw for 300-plus yards in four consecutive games. The streak came to an end the next week against 7th-ranked Florida, but Burroughs' 293 yards and three touchdown passes helped lead the Tigers to another win, 42-28. The next week, in LSU's seventh game of the season, Burrow eclipsed the LSU single-season passing touchdowns record of 28 when he added four more in a win against Mississippi State. In their next game, Burrow led LSU against ninth-ranked Auburn and LSU defeated another top-ten-ranked opponent as Burrow's 321-yard, two total touchdowns performance set a new school record of eight career 300-yard games. When LSU played Alabama on November 9, the two schools were ranked higher than they had been since they had played in the 2012 BCS National Championship game. LSU was ranked second and Alabama third when the season's inaugural college football playoff rankings had been released the prior week. The game would also feature two leading candidates for the Heisman Trophy in Burrow and Alabama quarterback Tua Tagovailoa. Burrow and the Tigers came away victorious in a 46-41 shootout. Burrow passed for 393 yards and three touchdowns in the game, and was again named Walter Camp National Offensive Player of the Week and a CC Co-Offensive Player of the Week, sharing the latter with teammate Clyde Edwards Hellaire. The following week against Ole Miss, Burrow threw for 489 yards and five touchdown passes, and his single season passing yards surpassed the LSU record set by Rohan Davey in 2001. Burrow also set an LSU record for consecutive completed passes with 17 during the game. On November 30, Burrow and LSU secured an undefeated regular season with a 57 win over Texas A&M, in which Burrow threw for 352 yards and three touchdowns. During the game, he broke the SEC record for single-season passing yards previously set by Kentucky's Tim Couch, and tied the conference record for single-season touchdowns, which had been set by Missouri's Drew Law. Burrow took sole possession of the SEC single-season touchdown record the following week in the SEC championship game, throwing for four touchdowns in LSU 37-10,
win over Georgia that secured the Tigers' place in the college football playoff. On December 14, 2019, Burrow was awarded the 2019 Heisman Trophy, receiving 1846 more votes than runner-up Jalen Hurts. It was the largest victory margin in the history of the award, and Burrow received the greatest ever share of available points. Burrow's Heisman acceptance speech referred to the rampant poverty and food insecurity affecting his hometown. Shortly after his speech, the Athens County Food Bank was the recipient of U.S. $450,000 in donations. Other awards he won that year include the Maxwell Award, Walter Camp Award, Johnny Unita's Golden Arm Award, Davy O'Brien Award, Lombardi Award, and Manning Award. In LSU College football playoff semifinal game against fourth-ranked Oklahoma in the 2019 Peach Bowl, Burrow threw for seven touchdowns during the first half of the contest and had a total of 493 passing yards along with scoring a rushing touchdown in a 63-28 victory for the Tigers. Burrow's eight total touchdowns were all scored within the first 35 minutes of the 60-minute game, after which the quarterback was taken out for the sake of giving him rest. Analysts have called the performance one of the greatest in college football history. In the 2020 National Championship game against Clemson, Burrow threw for 463 yards with six total touchdowns, five passing, which led LSU to a 42-25 victory and him being named the game's offensive MVP. He finished his 2019 season with 60 passing touchdowns, which broke the single-season FBS record previously set by Colt Brennan's 58 in 2006. This record has since fallen to Bailey Zapp of Western Kentucky, who threw for 62 touchdowns in 2021. Burrow also set a FBS single-season record with 65 total touchdowns. This record would be tied by Zapp in 2021. His 5,000 671 passing yards is now tied with Case Keenum in 2009 for fourth most in an FBS season. His passer rating of 202 for the season was also a record until it was surpassed by Mac Jones in 2020. Several sports writers deemed the season to be the greatest ever by a college quarterback. Collegiate statistics, 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 sticks, sticks, regular season, professional career. Burrow was one of 58 players invited to the 2020 NFL draft, where he was selected first overall by the Cincinnati Bengals. He was the third consecutive Heisman, winning quarterback to be selected first overall, following Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray. Burrow signed his four-year rookie contract, worth $36.01 million, on July 31, 2020. 2020 Prior to the season, Burrow was considered the favorite to win the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year award. Burrow was the only rookie quarterback from his draft class to start on opening week. In his debut, Burrow threw for 193 passing yards and an interception, while adding 46 rushing yards and a rushing touchdown in a 16-13 loss against the Los Angeles Chargers. During the next game against the Cleveland Browns, Burrow threw his first career passing touchdown, a 23-yard pass to tight end C.J. Uzama. Although the Bengals lost the game 35-30, he attempted 61 passes, completing 37 of them for 316 yards and three touchdowns, which broke the NFL record for most completions by a rookie quarterback in a single game. Two weeks later, Burrow earned his first career win by defeating the Jacksonville Jaguars. He also became the first rookie quarterback to throw for 300 or more yards in three straight games. In a Week 7 game against the Browns, Burrow had 406 passing yards, three passing touchdowns, one rushing touchdown, and one interception in a 37-34 loss. He became the first rookie in NFL history with at least 400 passing yards, 
three passing touchdowns and a rushing touchdown in a single game. In the second half of a Week 11 game against the Washington football team, Burrow was hit while throwing a pass and subsequently tore his ACL and MCL in his left knee, among other damage to his PCL and meniscus. He was later placed on injured reserve, ending his rookie season. 2021 on September 6, the Bengals confirmed Burrow had completed his rehab. Burrow returned from his injury and helped lead the Bengals to a 2-1 start. In Week 4, Burrow completed 25 of 32 passes for 348 yards and two touchdowns in a 24-21 win over the Jacksonville Jaguars, earning HC Offensive Player of the Week. Against the Baltimore Ravens in Week 16, Burrow completed... 37 of 46 passes, threw for a career-high 525 yards, while also throwing four touchdowns without an interception, for a career-high 143.2 passer rating in the 41-21 win. Burrow's 525 yards were the fourth most passing yards in a game in NFL history, and broke Boomer Easy Essen's franchise record for most passing yards in a game as a result. The victory in this game was Cincinnati's ninth of the year, clinching the first winning record for the team since the 2015 season and put the Bengals in first place of the AFC North. Burrow was named AFC Offensive Player of the Week as a result of his performance. The next week against the Kansas City Chiefs, Burrow threw for 446 yards, four touchdowns, and no interceptions in the 34-31 win. The win helped the Bengals clinch the AFC North and a playoff berth for the first time since 2015. Burrow finished the season playing in 16 games with 4,611 passing yards and 34 passing touchdowns, both franchise records. He also led the league in completion percentage 70.4% and yards per pass attempt 8.9, but also led the league in sacks taken. In his playoff debut, Burrow threw for 244 yards and two touchdowns in the 26-19. During the divisional round against the top-seeded Tennessee Titans, Burrow threw for 348 yards and an interception in the 1916 win, which was the first time in franchise history the Bengals won a playoff game on the road. The victory occurred despite Burrow being sacked nine times, tying Warren Moon in 1993, for the most time sacked in a playoff game and becoming the most sacked quarterback to win a playoff game. In the AFC Championship game against the Kansas City Chiefs, Burrow threw for 250 yards, two touchdowns, an interception, and helped the Bengals overcome a 21-3 deficit to win 27-24 in overtime. The 18-point comeback was tied with the Indianapolis Colts in 2006 for the largest in a conference championship. With the victory, the Bengals reached Super Bowl LVI, their first appearance since Super Bowl Roman 23 in 1988. In the Super Bowl, Burrow threw for 263 yards and a touchdown, but was sacked seven times, ultimately losing 23-20. Burrow set a playoff record for most times sacked in a single postseason, being sacked 19 times, surpassing the previous record set by Wade Wilson in 1987 with 14. NFL career statistics Regular season Postseason Records and achievements NFL records most completions by a rookie game 37 2020 in 2020 most times sacked in a single postseason 19 20 21 21 21 21 most yards lost on sacks in a single postseason 137 2021 bengals franchise records most passing yards game 525 most passing yards season 4611 2021 most passing touchdowns season 34 2021 highest passer rating season 108.3 2021 1 highest completion percentage career min 500 pass attempts 68.2 percent highest passer rating career min 500 pass attempts 
100.2, most 400-plus yard passing games, career, 4, most 300-plus yard passing games, season, 6, 2021. Personal life. After signing his rookie contract with the Bengals, Burroughs stated that he planned to save all of his contract money and instead live through income received from endorsements. Burrow is an avid fan of Kid Cutie, often listening to his music prior to Bengals games.